Hey everybody, wanted to do a really quick video. I'm in my bedroom and it's a mess, so ignore what's on my bed, ignore what's on my dresser. I'm in the process of reorganizing. So I wanted to mod this Sacred Rose Tarot for a really long time. I've just been afraid to do it because I love it and I don't want to mess it up. But at the same time, I don't use it that much because I want it to be a little bit smaller so that I can shuffle it better and handle it better. It's just hard for me to handle. So I took the plunge. I have my little paper cutter here and my little hole, not hole, but like corner rounder. This is the ink I'm going to use to do it. I think it goes there with that rose very well. And I did one card. I did the King of Cups. I'm going to show you the size difference. What? Let me show you on this way because it's quite a bit different in size. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. And then once I edge it, you probably won't be able to see it on here. Stamps. I use stamps. It's way easier than marker. This is Archival Ink by Ranger. Acid free. So stamps are easy. Just boom. Looks great since it's kind of been cut a little rough because, you know, my cutter's not super sharp. I'll probably go over this a couple of times with the ink. And what's good about these inks, they don't come off. Like sometimes I've had decks where I've used Sharpie and it comes off all over my hands. And it does it all the time. Like every time I use the deck, it doesn't matter how many years go by. Alright, so there, that card is done. Looks amazing. So yeah, and then you just let it dry. And also the good thing about ink pads, you don't get any overage. You don't have to hold the card a certain way, just straight up and down. It's amazing. So I don't know that I can show you how to cut one on camera. Um, basically, you lift up this little deal, put the card. So you're gonna line the bottom card. I got this at the dollar store. I mean, come on guys, great. You line up the card here so it's perfectly straight. You align it here to how much you wanna cut off. So let me try to do it here. This could be a disaster, hang on. <laughs> uh, let me see, maybe I can do this. Perfect, this is my little nightstand where I do my reads and stuff. <laughs> it's like my nightstand slash altar. Alright, so I think I'm going to have it. Can you see? Can you see? I think I'm going to do it right there. So I want it right on the edge of the black. But I don't want any white to show. And then you press this little deal all the way through. And there it is. And it's super scary to look at it like this until you get the other edges done. And then you just push this little thing back. Do the other side. Do all four sides. Line it up. Can you see? Is my hand in the way? Okay. And I'm hoping I get these close enough. I don't have my glasses on, which is pretty stupid. I'm hoping I get these close enough to where it will not be a big size issue and they'll go in the deck perfectly to do the end here what's hard about cutting this deck is the little squiggly lines are not consistent see like on this one see how that's it's kind of angled so it's it's pretty impossible to get an exact to get all the white off and that's not I didn't really bother me with the white but like I said I just want it to be smaller so then I'm going to use the rounder pop pop get in there pop and pop and there you go let's see how it compares to this one that I already did 
yeah, it's going to be fine. I'm super stoked. Let me go ahead and ink this bad boy. Guys, I'm super happy right now because I love this deck and I never use it. I've done some Facebook lives with it doing yes or no where I just do shuffle um, card over card. But I would love to actually be able to shuffle this a little bit better. And now that I'm doing this and making it a little smaller for me, then I'll be able to use it more. Nice. So if I put these two cards together, maybe you'll be able to see the color that it's going to be with the two cards together. It's going to look amazing. I'm super excited. Yes. All right, guys. Let me put this back up. Hello. All right. So I hope that that was interesting. I don't know. But um, once I get done doing the whole deck, I'll come back on another little video and show you. So see you in a little bit.